Jordan Mayer once again back in the big chair with you this morning and once again talking with another team from Madison Consolidated High School. A lot of our spring sports have seen their seasons come to a close, but one sport that's still going on right now is boys golf over at Madison. And we are joined this morning by coaches Dale and Kathy Crampton. Hello, coaches. Hi, guys. Good morning. How are you today? Great. Thanks for asking. Just fine. Um, so talk about the season. Well, for, before we get to the season, talk about your history with coaching, how long you've been coaching golf, and how your love about golf exactly. Well, we love golf. Both of us are avid players. Uh, Kathy's pretty good, and I kind of follow her around a little bit. <laughs> uh, we have been coaching now uh, at Madison for four years. We had the girls a couple of years ago, and, and we were very successful with them only because they were good players. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second year with the boys. Uh, we've been successful with them only because they're good players. Sure. And uh, this is probably, I think we've decided about our fifth retirement of doing a variety of different things. So we think we're out maybe pretty I, soon okay. after this year. But, uh, of course, we have grandkids coming up and may get called back in. <laughs> but we're avid golfers. We love to play. We play probably three, four, or five times a week ourselves when, uh, when the season will be over. What's your preferred course to play at? You know, we, we travel around and play a lot. Uh, we play in Florida in the wintertime, okay. and, uh, and we do a lot of different courses. The Sunrise course is a really good course. They've got in great shape right now, the place where we'll be playing sectional and play several home matches. My grandfather likes to play one down in Florida named after Bobby Jones. He said it's one of the best courses he's ever seen. So. There are some great courses down in Florida. And we, we haven't played them all, but we're trying. <laughs> so, you know, and you talked about it. Sunrise is such a great course, and really it is one of the nicer ones that you will find in the area. How lucky are we in Madison to have one so nice? Oh, there's no question. And, and of course, you know, they've got the golf course out at Hanover, mm -hmm. and they've got the country club, the old country club downtown, uh, River Chase. So we are blessed with an abundance of golf courses to participate in. But Sunrise is in excellent shape. They do a great job up there. And they really do. And, you know, that's where the sectional will be held here uh, June the 4th. Fourth, am I correct? That's correct. Week from Monday. And you know, you the sectional is always hosted there. You have had so much success. I think the boys have won. I think five titles in a row. Am I correct? Six, six titles in a row. They're going to be going for their seventh on Monday. You've had a lot of success this year. Um, I want to talk about the Hoosier Hills Conference meet. You won the meet last year. You came up three strokes short this year. Talk about the team and how they performed at conference a couple we're, ago. we're very fortunate last year uh, kids uh, all stepped up and played uh, you know played probably their uh, their best games of the year last year I had some had some youngsters that stepped up and played really well this year uh, a couple of our guys didn't have as good a rounds as they would like to have had uh, and as a result of that uh, we lost by three like you said Floyd Central's ranked in the state uh, we're uh, we think we can play with them we think we can beat them although the two losses we've had this year our Hoosier Hills, Floyd Central beat us, and we played a match down at their place, and Floyd Central beat us there. So we're looking forward, hopefully, to being successful in the sectional. We're cautiously optimistic that we will be, and then we'll get a chance to play with them in reason. You know, you, when you've won six titles in a row, it can seem so easy, like, oh, this is not going to be a challenge. But you, you all both know as coaches, no matter what sport it is, you can never go in overlooking your opponents. No, that's exactly right, and that's why they play them. Uh, we talk to these kids uh, daily about staying focused, hitting one shot at a time. Don't worry about your score. Don't worry about a bad shot. And we're just adamant about those kinds of things. We feel like if we can keep them in the moment, so to speak, and hit the current shot that they have, the scores will take care of themselves. You know, and you, you look at the other teams in your sectional. We'll talk about some of the other teams that are there. How do you, you know, what's the, what are some of the matchups you're going to see, some of the other teams that are going to be coming in on Monday? We've had, uh, we've had success against almost all the teams in the sectional already this year several times. Uh, Henryville's got a nice club. Uh, Southwest is playing very well. Yes, they are. Uh, Rising Sun is playing fairly well. Uh, Jennings County is playing fairly well. But again, if, if the dominoes fall into effect like they're supposed to, we'll be fine. You know, and golf is one of the things. Coaching, I'm sure there are certain things you have you have to coach. But how do you coach a sport like golf? Because in basketball, you can in basketball you can say, okay, be patient, pass the ball. In baseball, you can talk about your positioning and defense, how you hold the bat. But how exactly do you coach? golf exactly because a lot of people just think of golf as all right you go out you hit the ball and that's it <laughs> i think there are two things in golf i think uh, i think the one thing is mechanics you've got to have good mechanics you've got to have good setup grip all those kind of things i think the biggest thing in golf is mental because you're out there by yourself you hit a shot and then you walk to it or you drive your car to it and you're thinking about what you did or what you didn't do so focus is the big thing so we've been talking to these youngsters now for two years and we say to them golf is 90 percent mental and then we hesitate and ask them what they think the other 10% is. And if I ask you that question, what would your response be? 
Uh, physical? <laughs> mental. Okay. Ninety percent mental and ten percent mental. Okay. If you figure that out, then you're in pretty good shape. And you get all kinds of responses just like you gave. And usually what happens is people stop and their eyes will go up to the left and they're trying to come up with something. And it is just such a mental focus scheme. If you get a bad shot, you've got to let it go. If you're playing well, you can't count up your score till you're done. Yeah. So we really try and help them stay focused with that. And, and as you talk around the, each one of these individuals, you'll find out that each one of them has hit a bad shot and their head goes down, or each one of them has been playing really well and they're thinking, shoot, if I get a par here and I get a birdie here, then I'm really scored. Yeah. So it really, really, really is focus. That's why it's such a great game because it's, it's between you and the golf course in your head, and maybe not in that order. <laughs> and when you, you know, you as a coach, you see. Um, the players, let's say whether it comes to the conference meet or the sectional meet coming up in a couple of weeks, and you see how well your team is doing, and you think, okay, you're getting closer, the title's almost in your grasp. What's going through your mind, and what are you telling some of the players as you see them as they might be thinking, hey, this title's ours now? What's the most important shot you'll ever hit in your life? That's the question to them. And the answer is the next one. And that's what we try and keep them focused. Just, just to stay in the moment and don't worry about what happens with your score. Just stay right there in that moment at that particular time. And they've had thousands of golf balls, so they'll be fine if we can just get them to stay focused. And, and you know, when a team, when a program has won six straight sectional championships, it, it, which are great to hear. I mean, they have been probably in the last six years the most consistent program of all the programs we have in our area. But how do you keep these kids humble? Because there are a lot of kids in this area that don't get to win sectional titles during their high school career. So how do you keep them humble? That way it doesn't go to their head that, oh, we won. Um, we're better than everyone. That's a good question. Uh, we just, again, uh, try and stay focused. We, uh, we work with them every day. We encourage them every day. Uh, we tell them that they've got to believe in themselves. And if they do, they'll be fine. And we talk about something called positive self-talk because we all in our heads have this constant chatter. And it goes, just goes and goes and goes and goes. And we tell them, well, you know, let that stuff go. Get in the moment. Focus on this particular shot. We used to have a lot of speakers come in. And Jeff Bridgeford, who's a pro over at Madison, came yep. in one yep. time. And he said, approach each shot as if it were the last shot that you'd ever be able to hit in your life. I thought that was pretty dramatic. But, but it emphasizes the, the time that we spend trying to get them to stay focused. And Kathy, let's talk to you here. You know, you've been working now with golf for so long. You and I were mm -hmm. talking about it. Um, your experience coaching Madison over the years and all your years coaching, what's it like for you? Well, I, I love these boys to death. We uh, had a good experience with the girls and then adopted these boys. <laughs> and uh, not only are they good golfers, but they're just fine young men. And so to work with them six five or six days out of the week um, is is an honor. Uh, they've got promising futures and golf is just a, it's a challenging sport, it's a fun sport, it's aggravating, it's everything wrapped up in one. It, it, it's almost like a love-hate sport. Either you oh, love golf so. or you really don't like golf. Yeah. There was a commercial years ago that a man was playing golf and he was getting frustrated and frustrated and then all of a sudden he hits a good shot and he goes, I love this game. <laughs> and that's exactly what every golfer experiences. And that goes back to what Dale said just a minute ago, the next shot is the most important exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you look uh, ahead for the rest of the season, they have sectionals coming up here. Let, let's say they get out of sectional, we all know that regional is so tough. You know, what do you tell them going into that when you're going to see some of the best high school talent in the state. Exactly. Well, you know, Center Grove almost has it locked. They're, 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 like, they're a pro team. They're, I mean. They are. They're, they're like a college team. Um, so you kind of just rule them out. But then there's a place for two more teams. And if not a team, individuals. So we're approaching it like we're going to come in second place and go to state as a team. Now, the, uh, there is no semi-state in golf. It just goes from regional to state, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. So when you know you look at that, what the first thing and foremost, I guarantee you're telling them, let's worry about the sectionals first. You can't be focused on right. regionals right exactly. now. Exactly. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We will come back because we have a lot of seniors we got to talk to, and we'll discuss with them about their seasons, their futures, and what they hope for come sectional time. It's Coach's Corner, live here on Works 96.7. McDonald's one two three dollar menu has new choices, so you can take your pick of morning faves for just one, two, or three bucks. Try new options like a medium iced coffee or a sausage biscuit for just a dollar each. 
Who knew a buck could unlock the magic of savory sausage prepared on a sizzling hot griddle? And who said it was okay to hand over a rich and creamy medium iced coffee for a dollar? We're not sure, but somebody should probably thank them, right? Build your breakfast with new choices from McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. Welcome back to Coach's Corner here on Works 96.7 WORX. Jordan Bear here with you at the McDonald's on the Madison Hilltop right across the street from Madison Consolidated High School. And, of course, we're talking Madison Boys Golf, uh, one of the few spring sports still going on as a baseball and softball in our area has come to a close. But golf sectionals, they have one week left of the regular season this week. In fact, Madison uh, is getting ready to go play in a match today, and then they have sectionals coming up on June the 4th over at Sunrise Golf Course here uh, just a few blocks away. We're now going to be talking with the players here this morning. Young man, good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Not too bad. How, what's your name, sir? My name is Landon Connor. Landon, uh, how long have you been playing golf, sir? Uh, pretty close to my whole life. Now, why golf? What is it about golf that you like? Because you play other sports, too. Yeah, I've played basketball and soccer this year, but I think I mostly enjoy golf because it's like it's just something I can do by myself. I don't I mean, it's great to have a team behind me, but you don't have to rely on the team the whole time. It's just like mostly individual. Mm, it's almost like r running in a sense. It's just you can be in your own world when you play. Yeah. You you know, you look at how much success you've had, you know, so far at Madison, three sectional titles. What are you looking ahead to at the sectionals here in a couple weeks? Um I'm just hoping that we all can play the best golf that we've played all year and just try and come out with the victory and get our seventh straight title. When you look at your objectives the rest of the season, what is one for you? What well, is one for me? To make it out of regionals, either as a team or as individual, just make it to state. And, you know, we've talked about you've played in that regional three times. Talk about how tough that regional is. Uh, that regional is tough. You, have to, you definitely have to be around par to make it out as an individual or as a team. As a team, you have to shoot at least a 300 is that, to is make that, it out. Is that par for a team or what? No, it's not par as a team, but it's pretty close. And, you know, the regional, it's at Champions Point Golf Course where you're playing today, so you might kind of get a preview of what you could possibly see at a regional, assuming you make it there. So what are you going to look at for your match today? Uh, today I'm just going to focus on, like, if I hit a bad shot, I'm going to analyze it and see what happened and then – during regionals, if I'm in the same position, I'll just try and fix it. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be heading to school? I'll be heading to school to Campbellsville University in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And you're going to play golf, correct? Yes. And well, are you excited about college golf? Yeah, I am excited. What's the chum of the challenges you're looking forward to at the next level? Uh, definitely the harder golf courses each and every time that we play. Mm -hmm. What are you going to major in? Uh, business management. Excellent. Well, Landon, very much good luck in the sectionals here in a couple weeks, okay? Thank you, sir. Again, talking with Madison Boys Golf here. They, again, they still have a week left of the regular season for sectionals here in a couple weeks. Young man, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you for asking. What's your name? Case Kiefer. Now, Case, uh, you're quite the golfer yourself. How long have you been playing? Uh, I'd say junior high is probably when I really competitively picked it up okay so a lot of times with that's a little later than some people do pick it up but what was it about golf that got your interest well i used to play baseball and i was actually pretty good at baseball but my brother went to the driving range and i went with him and i just never stopped you fell in love with it yeah just it was really fun <laughs> and you know you're you play golf over the years you've had a lot of success and you've won sectional titles you know as someone who was fortunate to win one in high school it's a great feeling what's it been like for you winning three of them uh, it's been <clears throat> sorry it's been a pleasure honestly I my teammates have helped me along the way I don't really know <laughs> it's okay um, you look at the rest of this year you got sectionals coming up on June 4th um, again you know we even though you've won six in a row as we just talked with your coaches about, you can never overlook your opponent because when you do that, you get beat. So what's your mindset going into the sectional? Uh, like he said, just focus on one shot. And then like also what he said, if the dominoes fall in place, we should be fine and mm -hmm. win seven. Okay. And, you know, assuming you get out of that, you're heading to Champions Point, a very good golf course, but a tougher golf course. What are you going to be focusing on when you go play there today? Me personally, I like Champions Point a lot. Okay. Uh, our last two 9-0 matches, I've shot one under. Mm -hmm. Last year in regionals, I had two really bad holes that kind of blew it out of proportion. But um, regionals is tough, so if you just focus on one shot at a time, then 
you know, what, what's your objective this year for this team or yourself? Our jet will make it to state is one of my all-time goals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at that, what, going to state your senior year, that almost just be the, you know, everything that yeah. you wanted in high school, right? Yeah. And where are you going to be heading to school in the fall? McKendree University. Where is that at? Uh, it's a little far away. It's in Lebanon, Illinois. It's probably about, I'd say, 10 miles east of St. Louis. Oh, okay. Why there? Are you playing golf there? Yeah. Um, what are you going to be majoring in? Business management. Business management as well. Well, Case, good luck to you in the section in a couple weeks, okay? Again, another senior this morning here on Works 96.7 WRX talking Madison Boys Golf. Young man, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. What's your name? Hunter Leiter. Um, Hunter, how long have you been playing golf? Pretty much my entire life. Why golf? Why not other sports? Um, I just like golf. How you can, like Landon said, you can practice on your own, you can play on your own. It's just a fun sport. Do you have a favorite golf pro? Uh, my coaches. Your coaches? <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, that's a good answer. That is a good answer. You, you look at, you know, when you watch TV, you have the ma you have the four majors, and then you have the Players' Championship, which is kind of considered the fifth major. Is there a major golf course you'd love to golf at one day in your life? Um, well, there's a lot of golf courses I'd like to golf at in my life, but I don't know. I don't know if I could pick one. There are just so many good ones? Yeah. You, you, you have been a part of what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior? Okay. You've been a part of three titles before. You're going for your fourth. Coming up on June 4th, what's your mindset going into the sectional? Um, just to play good and keep a positive mindset throughout the entire match. You know, a sectional title is always nice. Your senior year, when you head to, let's say you head to regionals, you'll have uh, champions point. You're heading there to play today. What are you going to be playing today? What are you going to prepare yourself for for regionals? Um, just scoping out the course and making sure I know everything about it and just play my best. What, what's your goal this year? Um, to improve myself as a person and a golfer. Excellent. Where are you going to be heading to school this fall? IEPUI. IEPUI in Indianapolis. Where are you going to be majoring in? Health Sciences. Excellent job. Well, Hunter, very much good luck to you in the sectional, okay? Thank you. Again, that was Hunter Leiter, another one of our great Madison Cub golfers that are here with us this morning uh, on a very cloudy Saturday morning now, possible chance of rain later. Young man, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. How are you today? Doing well since we got to play golf. <laughs> Excellent. What's your name? Drew Barron. Drew, uh, how are you? You're doing well because you got to play golf today. You're playing at Champions Point. Uh, of course, you have seen. What are your thoughts on Champions Point Golf Course? Uh, it's very nice, and you can shoot some pretty high scores there if you let the ball get away from me off the tee. Mm -hmm. um, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. You're a junior. So you've been a part of two titles already going into your junior year, so you still have a whole, another full year of golf. What have these seniors been like for you? Uh, they definitely made me improve over the years for probably the past four or five, six years. Just been going at it with each other. Uh, when you look to them, though, have they made you better as a person, and have they, like, taken you to the side and say, hey, here's what you can do to improve? Uh, yes, definitely. We've played with other golfers that have graduated college already that mm -hmm. even helped us get to where we all are. But as a whole, they've definitely helped me. When you look ahead to the sectional, obviously, again, the team's going for their seventh title in a row. Uh, you can never overlook anybody. What are you looking at going into that June 4th sectional? Uh, we're going to win. I, I have, I'm pretty confident that we have it in the bag. Okay. If we all play our <laughs> the way we should. Boy, I hope no one else is listening. Uh, <laughs> already smack talking. All right, no, no, and all, you know, I mean, that's a great. That is a good mindset to have, though. I mean, you got to have confidence going in. Um, so let's say you get past sectional, then you have regionals coming up. Uh, you're going to be playing on that golf course where regionals would be today. So what is your mindset going to be today, assuming you make it to regionals? Uh, just take this tournament like it is the regional tournament. And just take it one shot at a time and have a positive outlook. Now, some of the teams that are going to be there today, those would be teams you see in the regional as well? Yeah, Center Grove, Bloomington South, teams like that, B&L, Floyd Central. Now, Center, as we've talked about, Center Grove is, I mean, j just push them to the side. They're, they're their own unique specimen there. But you look at the other teams there, do you think, let's say you make the regional, do you think you can get into that two or three spot? Uh, Yeah, I think we can, but we just... We have to play good as a whole. 
Like it could one person is all it takes. So you'll have one more year of high school. Does this you want to play golf in college too? Yeah, I would like to, but also take my other options into consideration. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, Drew, best of luck to you in the sectional. Okay. Thanks. All right, talk about the junior here. So we got a few grades up here. It's always great to talk to the underclassmen, though, talking uh, about what their experience has been like working with the seniors that we have already spoke with. Young man, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing quite well. What's your name? I'm Trent Jameson. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. You're a junior as well. So I'm going to ask you the same question. Talk about the seniors, what they meant to you over your three years. Well, they're cool dudes. Okay, yeah. I'd say please be clean. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I know them for pretty much my whole junior junior high life, so I'm really close with them. And, you know, when you see how much success they've had and how much they've helped you, what have they done to make you better as a golfer and as a person? Maturity. Maturity? Most of all. How, how important is maturity in golf? Well, better, like, what I mean by that, like, just – like keeping control of yourself you know you hit a bad shot you know some people like to throw clubs down and throw fits you know <laughs> that's what i mean by that <laughs> well i feel like slamming the clubs would be unproductive but well, wait, i'm not a golfer yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> i just feel like that would not be productive yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have sextals coming up here uh, in a couple weeks you have a big tournament going on today at champions point talk about your outlook on the rest of the season uh, today at Champions Point, that's one of my favorite golf courses. I'm really comfortable there. I'm mainly just going to focus on one shot at a time and just get up and down and shoot a good score. You know, you've played golf for so long. Uh, golf is sometimes a sport. Obviously, you all have had a lot of success, but golf can be a sport that can be hard to get people interested because there are some even not smaller schools than you, but bigger schools that don't have full teams. So what do you say to younger people to get, try to get them interested in playing golf? Um... Just keep trying. Uh -huh. uh, it, it is hard, but I, I've been golfing ever pretty much my whole life. I got thrown into it really early. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't leave it alone. Now, are you when you go to college, do you want to play golf in college? It, it just depends. I still looking at my opportunities but sure. it's something I definitely do. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you in the sectionals, okay? Right, thank you. We have one last person to talk to here this morning on Coach's Corner. Again, all these Madison players are going to be heading to Champions Point Golf Course today, which assuming they get out of sectional would be uh, their regional site. Young man, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Luke Allman. Freshman, correct? Yep. Uh, how long have you been golfing? Um, since I can remember. Is this your number one sport? Yeah. Why golf? Um, when I was real little, I used to go play with my dad all the time. I just never quit. Your dad seems like a golfer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, you have, you're working with upperclassmen. You've had a very successful season. I've gotten your scores. So um, talk about the success you've had this year and what you're looking forward to in the next three years. Um, I've been proud of how I've been gotten better with my game this year. And... All these guys on this team have helped me. You look ahead. You're going to be participating in your very first sectional. What's your mindset going into that? Um, just play the best I can. And, you know, there are other teams there. Uh, you got to get through all them. But let's say you get through them and go to the regional. What would your mindset be there? Because as a freshman going to play regional, that's, that's a different stage. Mm -hmm. um, I think if this team can play, how we all know we can play together at the same time, we have a good shot. Make it into state. You have some seniors here. What's your message to them uh, possibly entering their final few weeks here at Madison? Um, they've had a great career with all the sectional wins and everything, and it would be great to get to go to state for their last year. You have a week left of the regular season, so talk about the schedule this week and then going into sectionals. Take it. Oh, go ahead. Well, Kathy <laughs> usually puts a schedule together. We send a, a schedule out to all the parents and all the kids on Friday. That encompasses what we're going to do next week. We feel like it's important to keep not only the kids informed or the golfers informed, but the parents informed as well. So she puts a schedule together. Uh, we have today, we mentioned several times, big tournament at uh, Champions Point. Then on uh, Tuesday, we have a home match. On Thursday, we have a home match. And after the home match on Thursday with Jennings County, we will take some time to recognize our seniors. Okay. And, you know, the seniors, again, they've won three sectional titles, going for a fourth. What have they meant to this program? Oh, they provide leadership. Uh, we uh, tell them they got to step up. We tell them that uh, they're the seniors and we expect them to provide leadership. And they've actually done an excellent job of that. 
Uh, their mothers that we get involved, the, the senior mothers and the seniors themselves help us make a lot of decisions. Uh, we talk with them about everything that we're involved with and ask them to, uh, to pull that together and say, uh, what would you like to do to make this the best senior year you can have? And Kathy's just excellent at that. She works really well with the parents. She has that kind of motherly instinct that works well with the seniors. And uh, she kind of takes care of that whole side of the thing. And I'm, I'm usually a little bit more gruff if I need to be. Sure. So for that reason, we make an excellent combination. And you look at how much you, you're talking about possibly stepping away this year. You've been coaching for many, many years now. But talk about this team. You look at the sectional, and again, as I, as you and I have continuously said, you cannot overlook other teams in the sectional because that is how you will lose. But what is your outlook for this team heading into the postseason? You know, I think we'll be fine. Uh, it's just difficult to get all of them to play their best golf at the same time. And we ask them uh, each time they play, what would you like to do today? And then they'll say, well, we'd like to play well. I said, no, I want you to play the best golf you've ever played in your life. Golf's a unique sport in that you play five and score four. Well, if you have one of those four that you're going to score that doesn't play well, it just really messes up the whole ambiance. Everything's just kind of down the tubes. And this year we've been very fortunate that uh, Landon Connor, who's been our one, has yep. medalist most of the time. Uh, he's pretty steady. Freshman Luke Almond has really gotten better, and he's steady. And then the other three, they have really ups and downs. They'll play really great, and then the next, next time, not so well. So if we can get our three middle kids, Trent and Drew and Case, on board with us, we're going to be pretty strong. And you look at, you know, the regional, some very, very strong teams there. Obviously, you know, we've mentioned Cinder Grove. That kind of seems to be the one team that is just it's in its own level. But there, so there are two other spots, though, that you could still go as a team. Do you think you all have the capability to do that? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if, if, the, if the three kids I mentioned, Trent, Drew, and Case, play their best golf, we'll be fine. Now, we've got to shoot right at 300. So in golf, that's a 75 average, 75 average, 75 average, 75 average, which is only three over par. Then uh, those scores are going to be at that. You have to be at 300 to get out. You have to be at par as an individual to get out. They take top three teams, yep. and then they take the top three individuals outside those top three teams can advance as individuals. And any one of these youngsters, if we would not be fortunate enough to go as a team, have the ability to get out and go by themselves. Excellent. Well, Coach, uh, is there anything you'd like to say? Let's say, again, as I said, golf can be a sport that some people can find disinteresting. Some people that are listening, what is your message to them to keep them interested or get them interested in golf? I'm going to wrap this up with the best side of our coaching staff and let her answer that. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure. Well, thanks a lot, Dale, because you didn't know how to answer <laughs> May I first say thank you to Jeff at Sunrise mm -hmm. um, and his staff who are very accommodating towards Madison High School and the athletic office. Joe and Patrick have been yes. uh, wonderful to work with and our parents. You know, golf does not encompass a lot of people, so you really become a family during the season and during the off season. As far as your question goes, yeah. Um, it's, it's hard to explain why golf is so addicting, but it truly is. It's, it's you either love it or you don't understand it. Um, and because it's so difficult, people get frustrated quickly. Mm -hmm. um, if they keep at it, if they have a desire to play, just keep playing, you will get better. Excellent. Well, thank you both very much for coming in, and thank I wish you. you both nothing but the best of luck come sectionals here in a couple weeks. Okay? It's our pleasure. Pleasure. Appreciate, appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming in. Again, that's Dale and Kathy Crafton and the rest of the Madison Boys Golf Team.